Just smile. Oh, fine. Oh, that's better. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd take you through a bit of a day in the life vlog of what I'm doing at the minute. So I'm doing 75 hard, so a day in the life of 75 hard. But I've actually only got three days left. So we're on the final home stretch. But I just thought I'd show you what my day consists of. So if you've not seen 75 hard before, it's like this challenge I've been doing since the start of the year. It's like this set of tasks you have to do complete every single day. I'll put it on the screen for you so you can see what it is. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's been so good. Some days it's been hard, some days it's been easy. But it's been a good challenge, it's been a good way to start the year, I feel. So the basis of it is you've got to do two workouts a day. One of them has to be outside, regardless if it's snowing, it's a storm, it's raining. You have to do one outside. You have to drink four litres of water a day or one gallon, I think it is in America. And you have to read 10 pages of a book. You have to follow a diet, no cheat meals, no alcohol. And is there another, oh, you have to take a progress picture every day. I think that is everything. Um, but I'll tell you what, it's not for everyone, but I'm on day 72. I didn't think, I actually didn't think I'd be able to stick at it for this long, so I'm pretty proud of myself. But anyway, we'll take you through a day in the life of 75 hard. Let's go. So, been waking up about half past seven in the morning, having a coffee, having my hydration drink, um, getting loads of water down me and then getting to the gym. How I've been doing it with the two workouts is I've been doing 145 minutes in the gym. So mainly like lifting weights and doing that sort of thing. I will like do a bit of uh, walking on the treadmill as well. Maybe even a bit of interval running, just switch it up between that. And the second one will just be walking the dog. So you can actually do a walk as your second workout. It just has to be outside. It has to be like quite fast. You know what I mean? You can't just be like wandering. Like this, you have to do like quite a brisk walk. Um, most of the time, to be fair, I will do more than 45 minutes in the gym. I'll do like an hour, an hour and 15. Um, and the walk is at least 45 minutes. But yeah, go ahead and do the first workout of the day. Gotta make sure you get your water in. Honestly, that is one of the hardest things, getting the water in, you know. I feel like especially on a Sunday, it's hard for some reason. But anyway, already nearly like six, 700 milliliters in. back at the office now um, just packaging a few orders get them sent out getting ready for a new launch which is Sunday 20th of March we've got triple black relax fit tracksuits coming and they're so nice sweaters and joggers a bit more of like a relaxed comfort fit they're going to be the one so make sure you keep your eyes out for that but I'm just on ASOS at the minute I'm trying to do like a bit of a spring summer haul like new in stuff from ASOS tell you what they bring out so many new items on ASOS just takes so much time going through it and that is mad that that is actually like part of my job trying to find new in stuff to show you guys what just, i really like the look of just trying to find the best clothes but anyway i've nearly finished on here i'll get the asus order done head to the post office go home have a shower and then get my second part of the day like done i thought i'd show you the app as well so you can see it so i think it's like four quid to download well, it literally just sh shows up as this. So you can see like all the stuff you've got to tick off. You can set reminders, done the first workout, progress picture, reading, water, diet, no cheat meals. You can add any notes. So I've just been putting like my, my measurements in there and stuff. But yeah, day 73. That's mad. <laughs> you can see all the other days as well that you've ticked off. Starting picture. Nice to have like a nice Chinese takeaway when I finished or like you know just pig out on one meal. I'm not gonna go too mad, but it'll be nice to have a nice Chinese. I think my Chinese is my favourite takeaway, my favourite cheat meal. Can't beat it. Some nice duck, prawn toast, chicken curry, salt and pepper chicken. I cannot wait. That is gonna be the one. 
So back home from the gym, nice and showered, feeling much better. I've got the, the brand new Sulfit Comfort Relax Track Suit on. It's mega. It's so, so nice. I'm an extra large in the sweater and a medium in the joggers for if anybody wants to pick one up. But I'm going to go and head down, get some food now, just a nice, something nice and light. I'm going to come back here and film another YouTube video. We've got the best must-have summer sneakers for 2022. Some very nice trainers to go through, so I'm excited to film that and get that up on the channel as well. Picture of health me. Literally just a bacon sandwich, quickly. Medallions, a bit of ketchup, white bread. Just something light because I feel like when I eat something too big in the day, I always feel like pretty lethargic or sometimes quite tired. Just a small meal, get more work done then and I'll have something else to eat. So I'm filming a must have sneakers video for summer 2022. Got quite a few pairs of trainers here to be fair. Make sure you check out that video, but some of these are class. There's also obviously some more. But yeah, I want to show you the studio. New studio. It's not a new studio, but this is where I film all my videos at the minute. So we've got some new lighting. We've got the soft box lighting. We've got this as well. We've got the rail. The rail is a new addition for all the like clothing hauls and outfit videos and stuff like that. To be honest, no problem with clothes is you need a lot of space for them, don't you? And I don't have loads and loads of space, to be honest. Like, this is all the clothes I've got. Yeah, there's loads, don't get me wrong, but... It'd be nice to have a bit more. It'd be nice to have a massive walk-in wardrobe, like a huge one. One day, that's the goal. So, guys, time for the second workout of the day. We're going to go and take Callie for a walk. It's very annoying, it's just started raining. Not ideal. Laura's favourite is the rain, isn't it? Oh, She's just got the so waterproof jacket on. <laughs> Woo! Callie's ready. Are you ready for walkies? <gasps> We're going for walkies, Callie. It's raining, you're going to be wet. Let's get it done. Only three days left. So, on the walk, I'll tell you what, the sunset is actually so nice. One good thing about 75 Hard is, I tell you right now, it gets you out and like you feel so much better when you're in fresh air. So much better. So you're out every, every day. It's good for your mental health, massively. <sighs> Definitely try it. It's fucking cold though, look at this. Most things ticked off guys, just need to do my reading before bed, but yeah, day 73, literally two days left. Anyway guys, that is a full day in the life on 75 hard for me, coming to the end of the challenge now and I've really enjoyed it to be fair, like it's helped me get back on track in terms of fitness, my diet and just bring a bit of structure back into my daily routine which I've really enjoyed. Don't get me wrong, some days have been very tough. Some days where I've not been feeling great, you just have to push through. And the whole process of it is self-discipline. Self-discipline is the most important thing, probably in life, to be honest. You need to be self-disciplined, you need to have resilience, you need to be able to keep going. So I definitely recommend trying it if you're in a bit of a rut, if you're stuck and you don't know what to do. I'll put all the details in the description so you can see the whole website and what you have to follow to stick to it. I think the app's like four quid or something, so it's not bad at all. But yeah, before I go to bed, I'll do my 10 pages of reading. I'll have a bit of CBD oil. I feel like that just helps me recover a bit more. And it reduces my anxiety and stress a lot, the CBD oil, to be fair. Um, I've got quite a few good books I'm reading at the minute. Atomic Habits, High Performance. I read The Secret. It's a little bit gimmicky, but I kind of quite enjoyed it. If you do enjoy these sorts of videos, it really helps the channel out if you could drop them a like and subscribe if you've not already. I'm definitely going to be doing more fitness, lifestyle, 75 hard kind of content. I'll be doing a transformation video and a bit of a recap on what I think of the full thing. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. But that is it from me today. I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys.